Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. I hope you're all okay. Now today we've got a hamper video. We haven't done one for a little while and I thought with Mother's Day coming up, I thought that would be a perfect opportunity um, to put a hamper together and um, just really show you how to do it. Now once you know how to do them, you can make them for any occasion. We've also got Easter coming up very soon. You can put together an Easter hamper. Um, so I'll show you the basic techniques and hopefully it'll inspire you to have a go yourself. Right, so the basket we're going to use today is this pink one. Now this is technically an Easter basket. I bought this from the range, I think it was 4 99 Now this basket's quite flat, so a lot of the baskets, the gift baskets that you get, they kind of come up a little bit at the back if they're kind of this sort of shape. This one doesn't do that. So it might mean we've got to pad things out to get them to kind of stand up a little bit at the back. So um, we'll start and do the gift basket first. I've also got something that I'm going to wrap up just using cello wrap, just to show you that you can do it that way as well. Right, so now I'm going to show you the bits and pieces that I'm going to put inside. And all the things I'm going to show you first came from Home Bargains, okay? So this first thing I thought was really cute. It's a special treat sort of tin. And it's one of the ones that you have to cut open. So perhaps like a can opener or something will get into that. And I thought that would be quite nice for saving. And just looking at my receipt now, that was just 99p. So that's really cheap. So there's that one. Um, I also picked up some of these socks. These are like a set of three socks. They're 3 99 and they're the chenille type, so you've got three different colours in there. They're the nice fluffy ones, so I thought they'd be nice and, and cosy, so I've got those. I also bought some nail polish. You know I do love my nail polish. Um, let me just, I'm just having a quick look on the receipt to see how much they are. And they were $1.99 for those, and you get four nail polishes in there. They had lots of different candles, so I mean they did have quite a lot in home bargains for Mother's Day. And I am going to be doing a couple of other videos of some easy wrap presents as well, just some cheap presents that you can do. And I think, if not all, I think they all came from home bargains actually in that video. So um there's an, you know another quick one for you that um hopefully you'll like. So say so they had lots and lots of candles. This one was one ninety nine. Um, they had sort of different designs and different colours. But I just like things like that. I think they're cute. Ferrero Rocher's. I do you know what? I think I might have moved over to Poundland to get these. But they they do sell chocolates, don't they? In home bargains, we know that. So we can get lots of things. And I can't remember how much they were in Poundland. Don't shoot the messenger. They weren't a pound. And home bargains sell lots of face masks and stuff like that. I didn't buy these from Home Bargains. That came from, hmm, I think, Poundland, maybe. can't remember. And these came from Superdrug. They were 99p each on three for two. So they're a bit cheaper than that. So they're the bits that I'm going to put into this hamper. So I thought they'd be quite, they'd be quite nice. Now, I had a bit of a rummage down my craft room and found these little decorative bows. And I thought that would go really nice when we're wrapping them up. So I thought that would look quite good. So I'm going to put these bits to the side. Now I have caused myself a bit of trouble actually because when you've got a hamper, as I was saying to you, it's it, they, they often have bits at the side where they're, they're up higher. And when that's the case, they are easier to stack things because when you're doing hampers, if you've not done them before, it's kind of a set way and set things that I do when, when putting them together like where you put the bigger things and I tend to put if I've got one larger item I would put that at the back um you know so there's sort of different things that you can do and you kind of want to do like the same sort of size coming down um but it's kind of harder to do when you've not got a bit to stand it on at the back but we should be fine now this tissue paper is nice inside I've got a small bath gift basket I'm going to do another like a relaxing gift basket in a separate video and that's got that horrible like woody stuff and I don't like that so I much prefer this this stuff here which is quite good and inside here you do get the little piece of the cello wrap and you also get a ribbon as well if you wanted to so you don't have to do the extra bits that I'm doing um, you know you don't have to put a ribbon on you've got a ribbon inside the bag so you've got absolutely everything that you you know that you could need so First of all, what we're going to do is start and load it up. So we've got our mum treats 
tin so I'm going to pop that there and right and then we've got our socks so you you find when you're doing things like this you sort of have a little bit of a play about and see where things look the best you'll kind of like put something there and then move it and I do that all the time um what have we got so we've got our face and hair mask there so we could maybe pop those down the side but as I say don't be afraid to put them in and then move them that's what I do anyway we've got our nail polishes they look nice but the thing is some of the the shapes of some of these things are a bit weird <clears throat> so they're probably not going to fit in very well let's see what that looks like down there let's pop that there we've got the candle we can pop that in there and these are a funny shape really so they don't really go but we'll pop them at the side just kind of poking a little bit like that so that's our gift basket with all the bits and pieces in i'm just going to show you the cello wrap that you get in the packet so this will probably be wider yes it is look than the stuff you get from poundland i'll show you the poundland stuff let me just open this out pop that down there so that's the really wide stuff the stuff in poundland is that length but you can still wrap as long as it's longer then you can just sort of tuck the sides in but i'll show you that in another video if you want to do that but we'll we'll use this cello wrap because it comes with it so i'm just going to pull the camera back and show you this next bit so in the back there you can see a little teddy and that's actually what we're going to be back in the next the next thing in this video so pop that in the middle there and what i would probably do is put it at a bit of an angle so you've got the points of the wrap there so the points there so i'm going to turn this around so it's facing you and you don't need to use curling ribbon but i always find that this makes it easier to actually tie so i'm going to get a piece of curling ribbon you can use string if you want to <clears throat> excuse me and we're just going to pull these side bits up these are the points and then we're going to pull the other sides up as well and then the other side I'm just trying not to go in front of the camera too much so i can't see what i'm doing okay so i've got all of the points there and then we're going to kind of gather it and scrunch it all together and because obviously we're using the cello that came with the hamper we know it's big enough we don't have to to measure it we know that it's big enough so we're just going to scrunch it and then we're going to naturally kind of pull it a little bit more to the back you can do it so it's stands straight up in the middle that's absolutely fine but i've just pulled it to the back slightly just so we can see the contents a little bit more and then what i've done here is i've done just a double knot and that secures it and just holds it in place i'm going to cut those to the same length and then we're going to just straighten these little bits up Right, so now I'm going to show you this top part. Now, some bits on the top here are bigger than others. So, what I would recommend doing is kind of making them the same size or ish. doesn't have to be the same, so I think they look nice when they're not exactly the same. So, to cut them, don't just cut across like that in a straight line, because that will give you a block and it won't look very nice. What you want to do, I'll show you with this one. I don't know if you can see with it being a bit see-through. Is we're going to cut it at a bit of an angle, okay? So, we're going to get those and we're just going to snip up. And we're going to cut them but we're going to do it at an angle so we keep the points because the points look nice and i think they help to make it you know just look better so then with this part here with these little bits we're going to curl these because we are going to put something else on but i'm going to keep these bits on and i'm just going to curl those and all i'm using is my scissors and my thumb and my finger and i'm just using that to curl it so now we're going to pop the bow on. Now, I'm not going to put this on, but I'm going to show you what you get inside this little pack from the range, just in case you wanted to do this. And this, honestly, would be okay. That would be enough. So that would then go around here like that, and you would tie that in a bow. But that looks really pretty. I think that looks nice as it is. You can also get the pull bows, the pull ribbon bows. I'm going to show you those. It's a purple one, so it's what I'm going to use for another video. 
Um, these are the florist bows that you can get. So Google, again, you want to be looking on places like eBay, Amazon, lots of the florist shops sell them. You can buy smaller quantities from places like that. You can also buy the smaller bows from Amazon. I bought lots of them when I made some fudge for Christmas. I was actually looking to try and find some to show you, but I can't find them anywhere. So with the bows, I'll show you how you do it. You've got two bigger parts there and you've got two smaller bits of ribbon. So you get the two bits of ribbon and literally you just push up like that, holding on to the smaller bits of ribbon and that makes you the bow. So then you would put that on like that and that's what they use on flowers. You just tie that into a knot there just to secure it. You can keep those on and curl them. What I tend to do if I've just got one of these is I pull it up, tie it, cut off a little bit extra. The bit that I cut off here, I then use to tie around there and then pop the bow on. So that's how you, you would use the florists pull bows. So just search those if you want to, um, you know, if you want any of those. Now, these are the decorative bows that I've got and I bought these at Christmas. So it's really handy when you're out at Christmas time. I've said this before to you guys to have a look at what they've got that you could use at another time of the year. It doesn't have to just be Christmas because sparkle really is any time of year, isn't it? So, but you could make this. So let's just have a look what they've done. So they've got a piece of ribbon there. They've folded it over that side. They've folded it over that side. So that is the top part. Then they've got a small strip that goes all the way around and they've got a long piece here that fits in there and they've cornered the edge and then just literally put a tie in and stuck that middle bit round. That is how it's made. So you can see, can you see the sections? So you could make one of those so it'd be easy to do one. And that is not... This bit here is not long enough to tie all the way around. So what I'm going to do is scoot it underneath the curling ribbon and that will fasten it on just fine. So it's just a case of getting it underneath that and then putting it on and we're going to twist it round and hide those bits. And that is the bow we're going to put. So we've just literally just changed the bow a little bit also, it's really nice if you've got little kids, if you get them to make something, maybe make a tag, make, you know, a little plaque or something and you can hang that on. That looks really nice because we've not put a tag on this one. So, you know, there's those sorts of things that you can do. But I'm just literally going to pull the camera back a second. There we go. So it just gives you a better overview of the basket and the contacts in there were not expensive. You can obviously buy the basket, you can reuse the baskets. So, you know, if you give them, if people give them to you, keep hold of them, you know, don't throw them away. You can make contents that go inside, but this is the idea and how you can actually, you know, present something in a gift basket. Now, if you haven't got a basket, you but you want to do the same sort of thing, I'm gonna show you now with some cello wrap, how you can wrap, um, in this case, a Mother's Day present, but without the basket. Right, so I'm just going to show you the things that I'm going to pop in this. Now, this these are all from the Mother's Day section in Home Bargains. So we've got a teddy here. Now, this was £4.99. It's a really cute teddy bear. Again, you can look about for teddies or anything like that. Um, go whatever's in your price range and whatever's in your budget. So there's a teddy. There's some chocolate tulips. They were £2.49. And also a mummy mug. Now, they had daddy ones, um, or they do have daddy ones sometimes, you know, obviously during the year, Father's Day, that sort of thing. So although we're doing Mother's Day here, you can adapt any of these ideas for Father's Day or any kind of occasion that you want to. This is just showing you how to do it. So that's the mug. So what I'm going to do is the mug is going to go between the Teddy's legs there. And I thought these tulips would look really nice, poked through Teddy's hand. Can you see? So they sort of stand up a little bit like that. So that is what we're going to wrap up in the cello wrap. And the wrap that we're going to use came from Poundland. Again, just a pound a roll for 10 metres. It's 50 centimetres wide for this one. I do have one that I've already got open from before. So I'm going to use that. 
So in this case, we're going to have the long strip that way because it's not it's not wide, so we don't have like a wide. Just not the chocolates on the floor. We don't have like a wide piece because we got an extra wide piece in with that pack. So let me just grab these. So we'll stick that in there again and once we get this secure it's a bit lopsided but they won't be it'll all kind of come together so at the back here we want quite a bit because we need to be able to bring it up let me move the camera so although it's see-through you can see i've got quite a bit and we want as much at the back as we've got at the front so measure bring it down and then just cut it. You're always better to have too much than not enough because you can't stick it back on, but you can cut it off. Right, so now what we're going to do is to pull it up and wrap it. So obviously these side bits here are thinner because it's only a, a smaller width cello than the other stuff that we use. But what we'll do is we'll use a little bit of tape to hide that. So we're gonna pull the front part, and we're gonna pull the back part. We're not gonna worry about Teddy leaning at the moment because that will be fine once we've actually secured him in place. We're going to get the top part here and we're going to scrunch up like this. So we're going to pull all the bits together and we're going to scrunch up. And it's easy if you've got someone to help, but all these side bits will all be scrunched in together because you're going to use a little bit of tape just to scrunch it round. I was just checking that I had enough there. So we're going to get ourselves some curling ribbon. Curling ribbon is really handy to have in. And you know when you can get it, you can buy it at Christmas time quite a lot, quite easy in the shop. It's just the stuff that they use on there. So don't worry about these flappy side bits at the moment because we'll neaten those up in a minute. So you need some cellar tape. And I'll turn it around so you can see. So we're going to make sure these bits are in. And then we're going to get the front. And we're going to pull it around we're going to stick some tape down the bottom and you only need to do this if your cello rack is not big enough to cover everything and pull it up to the top if it is you don't need to bother doing this so then we're going to do exactly the same the other side and just stick the side bits together so you've got no gaps right so then we're going to tidy it up so we've got this top part looks a bit of a scrunchy mess and we're just going to pull it all up and we're going to cut it into a bit of a bat shape because at the minute it just looks awful. Right, so as you can see, we've got the tops that are really quite flat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my scissors and can you see how I'm angling them up like that? So we're going to get a, a portion and we're just going to cut a, a bit of an angle. And we'll do the same on the other side, but we'll go in the other direction. And that will give us a nice kind of point at the top, which I think looks a lot better than just being cut straight. Now, because we're going to put the same bow on that we used before, I'm going to curl these little bits of ribbon. If I didn't want to put a bow on that I've got there, you could put lots more of the curling ribbon on and just curl that. And that just looks really nice as a gift as well. So here we've got our bows again, exactly the same bows that we had before. And I'm just going to fix that on to the ribbon, the same way we did the other one. And there we go. So the ribbon is on the top there and that's it finished. So we've got one there that's been wrapped without a basket and then we've got one that's been wrapped with a gift basket. So hopefully I've um, helped you and taught you something new so you can make just some quite cheap presents look a really nice gift. And um, certainly I know that as a mum, I'd love to receive a little present like that. So we've got quite a few gift wrapping videos still to come. And if you haven't already subscribed, then you can just hit the subscribe button. It's completely free and you, you get notified if you hit the bell as well whenever I upload a video. We do a really good mix of videos. So if there's something that you fancy seeing, then you can pop on and watch that. So that's it for me. I hope I've inspired you to have a go and I will see you all again soon. So you take care. Bye for now.